Hey there YouTube world, this is Mr. Capo483 and today I'm going to do a review on the Go Launcher Home Replacement app. Um, so I came across the Go Launcher app after reading an article on droid-life.com. Um, check them out there. Um, that's definitely a website for all the up-to-date information on all the new Android um, information, Android devices and things like that. Um, but I came across their app and I was hesitant to switch because I am an avid user of Launcher Pro Home Replacement. Um, I, after trying out Home Plus, Helix, and um, ADW Launcher, um, I had picked Launcher Pro um, maybe about five, six months ago, and I haven't switched off ever since. And all the other apps, home replacement apps that I've seen, I never interest me at all. Um, this one, I seen the screenshots on Drawing Life, and I actually was very interested, so I decided to try it out, and I figured I just needed to change. But anyway, let's get into the Go Launcher app. So this is the Go Launcher. Now, I must say I really, really love this app. Um, coming off of Launcher Pro, I don't say it's better than Launcher Pro. I just say that it has some features that Launcher Pro does not have. And Launcher Pro and vice versa have some features missing. But the features that I'm losing out are at least not significant, at least not significant to the point where I'm going to switch back to Launcher Pro anytime soon. Um, first of all, as you can see, it supports, I believe, up to nine screens. I haven't really tested it. Right now, I run on six. Um, you have the dock, and it supports up to three docks, just like Launcher Pro. Um, but one of the, the biggest difference that I would say between this and Launcher Pro would be the app drawer. Now, the app drawer is very different than compared to most app drawers. It's not vanilla it's not vanilla Android app drawer. As you can see there's three tabs on the top. There's the all which shows you basically a list of all your icons. You have recent which is basically the same as whole um long press and the home button and shows you all the recent apps that you use. And then you also have a nap killer here which can kill all the apps or you can long press any of the apps and it gives you a little screen showing up and telling you, you know, you close it, lock it, go to, or info. Now, if I get into this, in the menu, you have the option on the all one. You can sort it by alphabetical order, latest installation or earliest. You can also make you can also make a folder by long pressing the icon and dragging it to another one. And then it'll create this folder, and you can have folders within the app drawer. Finally, you can click the X, and you can uninstall any of the apps on here. And if you go, you can also hide applications as well. And if you click on settings, you can change some of the features. For example, you can change it from being vertical to horizontal, like all the touch widths Samsung Galaxy S phones are. You also can customize the background of it and actually make it, instead of being that default back, as you can see in the background, I have kind of a... Uh, anime background in, instead so you can have that as well uh, the recent basically gives you a list of the last 12 which is a plus up from compared to the 8 that on the stock for it gives you I believe it's I believe it's 8 and then a decent app killer um, I still run my own app killer but this is actually pretty good now if you get into the settings preferences you have uh, just standard stuff. You have, you can hide a status bar. You can enable the wallpaper to scroll, or you can have it um, static. Um, you can show or hide the application name. You can change the grid size if you want to. And you got a few options there. Um, you can have the screen indicator, like how the Samsung Galaxy Touch Wish phones has with the little dots on the top. Um, and you can decide to keep it, or you can have it auto hide if you want to. Um, you also can change the speed of how smooth it flicks back and forth. You also have uh, screen settings. Now, this is, you can get to the screen either by screen settings or you can do it by pinching to zoom, and it'll get you to the same place. And with here, you can add another screen. You can add another um, screen by simply just clicking that. You can delete it by hitting the X, or you can click the bottom one, which will change which one's default. So, if you have it so that when you press the home button on like the fifth or sixth screen, it'll take you back to the default one. This will determine which is the default screen that you want to take it back to. Um, the dock settings, you have the option of 
you know, you can have either two up to three rows of docks. You can you can customize the style of it. You also get the notifications. Um, for example, if you have a messaging icon in your dock, it will put a little indicator for how many um, unread SMS you have. The same thing for if you have the, the dialer or Gmail, which is found on Launcher Pro, so this is nothing new. Um, the app drawer is the same thing I showed you before. In operations, you have, you know, auto screen rotation, um, customize what the home key response does. Um, and in advanced settings, you have, you know, prevent, force, close, change the font, things like that. You also have the ability to back up your configuration, which is something you can find in Launcher Pro. Um, I have to say that I just got it today. I've been playing around with it. Um, the one thing that I have to say that I love about this over Launcher Pro is the fact that if you're a person who has been using Launcher Pro, you notice that it has screen redraw problems. Um, I know that with the droid since it only has 256 megabytes it the the memory is one of the causes for the screen draw but it's also I simply just think it's also because of the um the app itself I just happen to, I always get it I mean when I was customizing when I was trying to make um the go launcher look exactly like how I had the launcher pro in terms of the icons set up and everything like that launcher pro screen draw me about six times in 30 minutes going back and forth with them so I know it's a memory issue because it was, it was using memory to load this up as well um, this one so far I haven't really had any um, redraw problems I've occasionally had something where it gave me initial, it, it did initialization like either when I first restarted my phone or um, when I just first put the app it do like initialization it would just be a blank screen and they'll just load up everything at the same time so you know their form of screen redraw but I've had, I only experienced that twice so far not anything big um, the biggest problem I do have with this is the fact that if you happen not to go, happen to have your phone closed off for a little while, whatever, and you go into, and then you open, turn your phone on, and you have go, go into the app drawer, it's going to start loading the icons for the applications you have, and it it's pretty quick. It's not doesn't take for, that forever, forever, but at the same time. It is annoying, and it, especially since every other home replacement I use, the app drawer is instant when you have the icons. So I don't understand why they have that. I hope they fix that in the update. Um, other than that, one thing I do like about this as well is the fact that it has uh, an iPhone style slash MIUI ROM, custom ROM style of folders. So instead of having just a folder, it has it shows you the four top four applications in the folder. So you can actually kind of see what you have in there. Um, also, what's nice if you go and press any of the icons, you can simply you get a couple of options like replace it, rename it, delete it, and uninstall, which is a nice which is a nice feature as well. Um, one one feature I do I wish they did put put in there that's found on Launcher Pro is the ability to adjust how much memory the app use. Um, again, I haven't really found an issue of needing to use it just because, again, I really didn't get the screen redraw issues like I had with Launcher Pro. But it was a nice feature on Launcher Pro, which I wish they kind of bring over to this one as well. Um, I have to say, I recommend this app to any person that likes, if you like Launcher Pro, get it. Um, if you're running anything besides maybe Sense UI, get it. Because this is better than the default, um the stock launcher that you find on Froyo or Eclair. Definitely better than Eclair. If you're running Eclair or lower, you definitely want to have a home replacement and this is one of them that you want to get to it. Um, between this and Launcher Pro, I recommend either one. ADW is another one that's that's nice. It also supports scrollable wi widgets like ADW and Launcher Pro do as well. So I recommend getting that. I mean, I recommend getting any one of those three. Try them out, see what you like and get it. But I definitely say that this is one of my favorites. Um, also, just forgot to mention as well, the app drawer, again, you can customize the background for it. You can customize the docs background, which is two features I know that's not found in Launcher Pro. Um, this is going to be my new home replacement, but do what, you know, if you like it and you, and you like what you're seeing, get it. If you like Launcher Pro, keep it. Either way, you're not going to be disappointed whatsoever. So, this is Capo483, signing off. Peace.